Welcome to the Industrial Safety and Health Education course. Is the production going well without any problems? Yes, everything is fine. Yes, and always remember, safety first. But boss, your face isn't looking good. Are you okay? My heart isn't feeling good from the morning. Ugh. Hey boss! 119? It's the A factory here. Man is down. Please come quick. Bring me the AED! Yes! AED! It's right there! I must compress the chest first! I brought the AED! I will install it! Keep compressing the chest, manager! Turn the power. Attach the pad onto the chest. Cardiac shock is necessary. Press the shock button. Manager, I will press the shock button. So stay away from the boss. I finished shocking. So let's continue compressing. I did CPR five times. Do I have to shock him again? Shock is not necessary. Uh. Boss, are you alright? Thank you so much. You saved my life. Like the example given, what do you have to do to a worker if he goes down with a heart attack in the workplace? It would have been a serious situation, but they coped with the situation very well. Correct! First, after supplying oxygen to the brain through the pressure to the chest, they used AED very well and CPR was also well done. If you want to handle with the emergency patient without confusing, you must be aware of using AED and CPR. Today, we will learn more about the CPR and first aid. First, we will go through the outline of first aid, CPR, bleeding and shock, and related incidents. So, I will probably know how to use AED and perform CPR when this lesson's over, right? Yes, of course. Other than that, you will also know how to proceed emergency treatment in a correct order and deal with bleeding and shock. Regulations related with this lesson is just like this. I'm putting this up before starting the lesson, so please be aware of it. First, let's look at the definition and necessity of first aid and the order of first aid. First aid is an immediate action taken at the scene of an accident to an injured person, which is to help the patient before an ambulance or medical team arrives. First aid is very important to preserve life, minimize recovery time and disability, prevent secondary damage and deterioration. Let's look at the procedure of first aid. After conducting a field study, start treatment from the priority patient. After identifying the patient's condition, taking basic measures, asking 119 for help, you have to help the patient to be stable and comfortable. After that, you have to keep the patient warm and preserve all of his belongings to help the patient getting cured. Lastly, write down every situation to a paper and transport the patient when the ambulance arrives. Please look at the detailed information by clicking its mouse button.
We will take a look at CPR through procedure, checking breath and response, requesting 111 rescue team for AED, chest compression, and how to use AED, which is the basic of first aid. First, let's take a look at the correct procedure of CPR. If you find a patient who has no response, first check if it's apnea or abnormal breathing. And then call 119 and request for AED. If there is a person who can proceed CPR, ask for CPR. Or if there's no one who can do it, proceed a chest compression. When the AED arrives, analyze the heart rhythm and proceed heart shock if necessary, and do CPR for 2 minutes. If not, do the CPR for 2 minutes without heart shock. Click the mouse button to find out the basic procedure of CPR. First, let's learn how to figure out if the patient is able to breathe and has any reaction. Before approaching the patient, first confirm that the site is safe and if it's safe, go close to the patient and pat the shoulder gently and ask, are you okay? If the patient is breathing abnormally, determine as a cardiac arrest and if it's not, check the reaction such as groaning, answering or moving. If you find out or suspicious about any neck injury, minimize unnecessary movement not to deteriorate the damage. When you're checking patient's reaction, you must check if it's breathing or not, and if it's breathing, you also have to check it's normal or abnormal. If the patient is not showing any reaction and not breathing or breathing abnormally, you must judge it as cardiac arrest. If the patient goes into cardiac arrest, the cardiac arrest breathing occurs during the first few minutes, and if you miss these signs, the possibility that the patient will survive will get low.